Yo, what's up, y'all? Your boy back. Okay, first and foremost, new scenery. You see it. Hat is off because it's hot. Okay. Um, shout out to everybody who's been rocking with me for a very long time over the years. Um, I want to say thank you to you all. Um, at one point, it was a goal of mine to hit like 100K on here, but then I realized very, very quickly that my mental health is way more important than some freaking subscriber numbers. So um, I appreciate y'all who have stuck by me since then. And um, I want to talk about the music that's been coming out for this year. You know, a lot of people have been comparing 2024 to 2016. In my honest opinion, I feel like 2016 still got that edge. But 2024, literally everybody has been dropping music and it's been amazing. We had the feud with Drake and Kendrick that's been building up for years and it finally amounted to something that's blown over. Kendrick is performing tomorrow uh, for Juneteenth, which will be great, of course. And we have people like Normani finally dropping a damn album after 15 millenniums. Um, I haven't listened to it all, but for what I've listened to so far, it's been pretty freaking good. Okay, this summer has been definitely stacked with music and there's even more music to come. You know, um, I just want to talk about some of my favorites for this year so far. And there are some albums that I haven't listened to fully that I would like to get into. Um, like I said, Normani's album, um, what uh, Don Tolliver's album, I still haven't listened to that. And apparently he dropped even more tracks. So that's going to be another long ass freaking listen. Speaking of which, I said this on Twitter, but can we go back to the albums that gave us 13 tracks, right? And added three more new songs for, as a deluxe and call it a freaking day. These albums that are just 19 tracks, 20 tracks. 18 tracks and then let's drop another deluxe as a whole brand new freaking album with even more tracks on it is ridiculous i've been saying this since 2018 stop with these long ass drawn out freaking albums please that's why the new album from billy eilish is such a special one for me because it's short sweet to the freaking point we ain't gotta we we ain't here all damn day by the way none of this is in order this is just music that i really freaking like for 2024 um, before we get into it, I want y'all to tell me your list. Give me your list. Give me your favorite songs, your favorite albums um, so far for 2024. Any artists that you think I'd be interested in listening to, drop them in the comments. Here we go. Um, of first and foremost, starting off very, very strong, we got Schoolboy Q with Blue Lips. Um, phenomenal freaking album. And personally, that's still my album of the year. I think this year is going to be extremely hard to pick one album against another for like album of the year but personally schoolboy q got it with blue lips he took a very very long hiatus but it was well worth the wait same with um SZA with sos long ass time to drop the music but it was well worth it you know what i'm saying next on here we got vince staples with dark times if you're not a vince staples fan i i, I don't believe i could trust you bro i really don't because vince staples ever since in my opinion ever since uh 2020 um his albums have just been consistent as consistent as consistent cohesive great bodies of work that i feel like a lot more people need to appreciate um not only does he have the music out but he has his own show which i believe got renewed for a second season y'all need to go watch the first joint this is not advertised but vince if you see this hook your boy up next on here we got no worries with why why lord why lord that don't sound right the way anderson pack says it you know how he says it there we go great album perfect for the summer perfect for the summer and it's it everything flows beautifully right um anderson and knowledge they their duo match made in freaking heaven flip heaven the himalayas you know what i'm saying it's amazing it's beautiful work the beats are great anderson is doing his thing on here the features work well on this album as well shout out thundercat i freaking love thundercat speaking of the summer music we got k tronada with timeless um it's k tronada it's a new album it's a bunch of features it's a bunch of music it's a bunch of cocaine uh happy go lucky great ass music and you need to listen to it before i get mad k tronada can do no wrong and if you got a problem with k tronada i got a problem with you all right of course we got uh future and metro um we don't trust you slash we still don't trust you that was like the freaking perfect anthem for what was going on between drake and kendrick like this um we don't trust you started the, the fire no 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 we don't trust you was the flames we still don't trust you was like was like 
adding nitrogen bombs to the damn flame, the small ass flames that was already there and just blew everybody out the freaking water for no reason. Well, we knew why the reason, but you know, you know, phenomenal bodies of work. I go to, uh, we still don't trust you way more in my opinion than we don't trust you, but still both albums are really, really freaking good. Next on here, we got Charlie XCX with Brat. Um, definitely uh, cocaine club music that I don't have a problem <laughs> listening to. <laughs> um, I love Charlie. She can do no wrong in my eyes. Um, listen to the freaking album. One of the best albums to drop this year. Uh, next song here, we got Thames, Born in the Wild. Another phenomenal album from Thames. More great music from Thames. Um, she can also do no wrong in my eyes as well. Her music is beautiful. She's beautiful. What else is there to freaking say? Uh, we got Party Next Door with PND4. With the exception of that crazy ass album cover, phenomenal album. All right, I feel like this is his best album in um, a very, very long time. Okay, ever since PND3 dropped, I don't know what happened to Party Next Door. That's just, that's just my personal opinion. You know, I didn't like I didn't like Party Mobile. Um, I didn't like. Uh, what was the one when he, the seven day theory, not seven day theory. That's he's, that's Tupac. It wasn't called seven day theory, but it was called seven days, seven days. I feel like that's his worst album. He's dropped, um, in his entire discography. Uh, but yeah, PND four, that's his best album in a very, very long time. That whole album got hits on it. Whole album slaps. Um, it, it's old party mixed with new party and it's a perfect combination of both. Um, the lyrics are very, very insane, but it works because it's party. The beats are amazing. I can listen to PND four strictly off the production alone. Um, and that honestly, that's what made me fell in love with party next door music. When I first heard them all them years ago, we are getting freaking old, yo, <laughs> but PND four great album. If you haven't listened to it already, check it out. Hit me hard and soft. Freaking amazing production. Crazy lyrics. Crazy. Um, what Chihiro birds of a feather and wildflower as that three track combo is ridiculous. And Billy, I will be suing you for, um, depression. I will be suing you for that depression, sadness. Um, I, I should be entitled to, uh, having to stay up at 3 AM in the morning since this album dropped, crying my eyes out over people. I long thought I forgot about. So I blame you, Billy. Um, I definitely freaking blame you. Phenomenal work, but I, I need some kind of compensation. This is ridiculous. You can't keep getting away with this either. I know your game. You and Phineas. I know how y'all move, yo. Next on here, we got Gunna, one of one. I am a Gunna fan. <laughs> don't let the, don't let the, uh, the old reviews. <laughs> like, I, I like Gunna, <laughs> okay? <laughs> I like Gunna, man. Uh, shout out Gunna, one of one. He's he's been doing his thing. He's been way more consistent than Lil Baby. Speaking of Lil Baby, what the hell happened to that man? What happened to him? I don't freaking know, but Gunna been doing his thing. Everybody who turned their back on Gunna, I think you need to re reroute. Go right back to him because he's killing it right now. Um, I said future. J. Cole might delete later. Um, regardless of the fact that he deleted his uh, track to Kendrick, regardless of the fact... That was a great album, okay? Him with Ab Soul and I believe, was it Daylight who was on there? Um, great album, great freaking album. That's one of the better tracks that dropped uh, this year as well. Um, and I, I commend him. I do commend him for bowing out of the beef between Kendrick and Drake. I definitely was like, yo, what the hell are you doing? Because this is the same person that was like, oh, nobody could beat me. I'm better than all y'all, da, 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 da. Then when the smoke came, you know what? You got it. But it, it worked in his benefit because we heard things about Drake and Kendrick that was like, oh, oh. So I completely understand, Cole. You still dropped a phenomenal album regardless. And um, I'm ready for the fall off. We are all ready for the fall off. And we're ready to see, you know, where you go from here. Uh, next on here, I said, I did I say Kendrick? I've been passively talking about Kendrick. Kendrick Lamar, all four diss tracks. <laughs> Every last one of them. Every last freaking one of them. Phenomenal. Okay. Um, I need 616 in LA to be on streaming services as of today. Okay. I feel like that's one of the better tracks that came out with the diss tracks. You know what I'm saying? Um, very underrated, um, which is... I mean, when you have euphoria, you got meet the grams, you got the hit smash hit 
uh, would not like us. It's very, very hard to go back to 616, but 616, freaking phenomenal. Kendrick did his thing in this diss track and this beef between him and Drake. Um, I don't think Drake's career is over, by the way. Not at all. It, I mean, it's still Drake at the end of the day, but, but. I do believe he has to grow up now with his music um, and can't keep making the same garbage he's been making since um, 2017. Thank you very much. And if we get another, honestly, never mind, I might kill myself. But anyway, anyway, we got Beyonce with Cowboy Carter. Personally, I feel like this album came and everybody was talking about it and then people stopped talking about it, which, you know, that's social media. But I haven't seen a lot of people go back to this album as far as social media goes. Um, personally, I feel like renaissance is way better that's just my personal opinion but as far as like a trilogy thing it's it's really really good really cohesive beyonce is doing her thing the features on here her and miley cyrus i need more of that i need more of that okay thank you lord bryson tiller with bryson tiller i don't know how many people actually listen to this album but it's a phenomenal summer album as well bunch of bangers on here production go crazy and i feel like bryson tiller has just he's doing his own thing and I'm happy for him. I don't care what he does in his future as far as music goes. I am happy for Bryson Tiller for continuing to be himself, do his own thing. Granted, a lot a lot of people want him to go back to his trap soul sound, but that's where people end up getting stagnant and creating the same things that they were doing before. Drake, I'm still talking to you, bish. Uh, but Bryson Tiller going against the grain and saying I'm betting on myself and I'm just gonna do what makes me happy and enjoy making this music giving us hits still after all these years shout out Bryson Tiller listen to his new album if you haven't already next on here we got Chris Patrick with the calm I believe this was a nine track album EP whatever you want to call it I don't care Chris Patrick agenda is on this freaking channel I've been listening to Chris Patrick since I want to say 2020 when did yeah, since 2020 when he dropped From the Heart Volume 2. Um, he's been dropping nothing but consistent, great freaking music ever since then. Um, he dropped his album X-Files in 2022. And this year he dropped, what is the calm? Yeah, the calm was like a nine track EP album. It's an EP. Uh, nine track EP called the calm. Very, very good stuff as always, as expected. Um, production hits every single time. Lyrics hit every single time and i have nothing else to say other than go listen to his freaking music before i get mad same thing with byri she finally dropped a freaking album and it's called <laughs> fire siren hold up i f i hope i said her name right i feel like i did but um yeah byri with Vi fire siren uh 10 track album great music all around phenomenal vocalist love the freaking voice She's beautiful, music beautiful, production beautiful. That's all you need to freaking know. Now, as far as the albums I didn't get to, like like I said, uh, Don Tolliver, um, who else? Normani, you know what I'm saying? I'm sure there's a lot more albums that I did not list on here so far. Like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section. There's a lot of music dropping this year, right? And I feel like us as fans of music, we need to take our time. We need to let the freaking music breathe and not just give our one and done opinion and move on to the next thing like it's fast food. Please don't do that. Please. Okay, because that's how you don't, you know, you 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 start not to enjoy things. If you listen to something and you don't like it all first, listen, but you don't give it a chance to listen to it a few more times. What the flip is the point? Granted, there are albums that I've listened to once and I say, hell no. <laughs> I will not be listening to this again. But then again, I gave that album more chances until I solidified, okay, I'm really not going back to this album. Nav, I'm talking to you. Speaking of Nav, I think he's dropping an album this year too, right? So hopefully Nav can make a comeback and save the music game as he always does. Speaking of saving the music game, The weekend, I need you to drop that album in the fall, bro. Don't drop it this month. Don't drop it next month. Don't drop it in August. Bitch, drop that bitch in September closer to October lit do that all right um let everybody get their summer music out now so we can get the sad depressing ass stuff in the fall yes that's my agenda anyway y'all let me know your thoughts and your opinions on just the music of 2024 how do you feel about it um give me some of your favorite albums some of your worst albums who would you like to see drop soon um is there anybody that has dropped that you wish didn't drop i'm sorry that sounds mean <laughs> i apologize uh y'all let me just give me your thoughts and your opinions in the truck in the track 
in the comments below. Uh, it feels good to be back as always. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace.